are you serious about performing at Lunchtime Cabaret? Then you need to sign up with me by noon today. I'll decide if your act is appropriate and up to our usual standards. Tear. we should totally hook up for Cabaret. I'm already doing a duo with Ash, two girls and a keyboard. And that sounds lamer than Heather Sinclair's Highland Sword Dance. I know, but the song Ash wrote means the world to her. Too bad it's just blah. And you need me to jazz it up, add some style. I've tried to get her to do that already, but she won't. She won't? It's a duet, not a dictatorship. Just tell her you want a poppier song and a trio. Good morning, aspiring scholars. In light of Ms. Kwan's continued absence, I'm going to be your homeroom teacher again today. Please take your seats. This cabaret is going to be the best one. Just wait till they hear our song. Ash? Yeah? Yeah, can't wait. It's a poetic dance on an environmental theme, Sean. You'll love it. I don't dance. You don't have to dance. Manny and I will dance. I just want you to be the hunter. I don't wear leotards. We don't wear leotards. Just black, like panthers, in honor of our basketball team. And because they're in danger. In our piece, we're gunned down by a hunter. It has a strong message. I don't hunt. I can't believe Sean won't do it. It's gonna be so good. The audience will be entertained and learn something in the process. Leotards and learning don't go together. Leotards and lack do. You're so primitive. Who are we gonna get to be the hunter? We'll find somebody. I'll do it. What? Really? Tope, you're the best. Hey, I do what I can. We rehearse after school in the gym. See you there. Well. I think it's cool when guys get in touch with their feminine side. Of course you do, JT. Look at you. Ha ha, funny. There are many mystic oracles, but Taro and Ouija are my favorite. Now, could I have a volunteer? Madame Terry? I'll do it. Take a deep breath. What would you like to ask the oracle? Um. Great mystic oracle. Am I really a superstar? You don't need an oracle to answer that one, Gavin. Ask another uh, serious question, please. Um, what was the name of my first pet? I call upon my angelic guardians. I call upon my spirit guides. R. O. C. Okay. Why? Rocky, how did you know? That's cool, and just a bit creepy. That was quite something, Terry. Excellent use of PowerPoint. You burned top marks, which is just as well. I wouldn't want the mystical oracles against me. Ash, you don't really believe in this stuff, do you? In the real stuff, yeah. My aunt predicted my grandma's stroke by reading tea leaves. So, if you heard a prediction, one that affected you, you'd believe it? Yeah, I'd be stupid not to. You don't even know how to dance. I don't have to, I'm just hunting. You're doing this just to get close to Emma. Duh. Newsflash told me she has a boyfriend. Who refused to dance, so who's the hero now? So, I'm a fool? No. In tarot, the fool represents fate. What's important is that it's upside down. It means your day will end unexpectedly, with a twist. A twist? What is that supposed to mean? It means you should watch out. Yes, Paige, what would you like to know? Oh, Mystic Oracle, should two girls and a piano become a trio? Paige, it's two girls and a keyboard, and no, we're fine. You should ask. If you're right, the Oracle will back you up. Wow. Three 
frauds. Raj represents creativity, our band. And three, the oracle has spoken. The oracle has spoken. The oracle did speak. Paige joined the band. Sounds like you want her to join. Tara, she'll make it all sexy and stupid. She'll wreck everything. I thought you said you totally believed in the oracles. I do, but my aunt was an expert. You're an amateur. Was I an amateur when I found out Spinner's pet's name? Please. Spinner told you about his cat, Rocky, like a month ago. How'd you know? I was there, remember? I can't believe she didn't buy it. She said I was an amateur, and she thinks your style will, like, clash. Me? Clash? Is if. Don't tell me you agree with her. Then tell her you don't agree. What's the worst that could happen? Paige, I know you want to be in the band. No, I know the band needs me. Well, two girls and the keyboard is going to remain just that. Sorry. What do you think about adding a jeté? Something like this. Ah! Uh! Uh! Oh. Can you stand in it at all? Ow. It's already starting to swell. We should probably take you to the nurse. I can't believe this. How am I gonna dance? How am I gonna be a panther? Tara, you put it to the twist and she just twisted her ankle. She did. I can't believe she did. And you were right about me. Who am I to argue with the oracles? You're in, Paige. Uh, yes. Tara, aren't you happy? Totally. Just can't believe I predicted that. I am creepy. Even I'm amazed at my brilliance. Paige, Michael, Chuck, and the sex kittens? <laughs> Please, what's wrong with it? Why don't we just make it three girls in the keyboard? Nice and simple. <sighs> nice and boring. Tara, what do you think? Three girls in the keyboard, or Paige, Michael, Chuck, and the sex kittens? I think they're both interesting. Tara, you don't like three girls in a keyboard, do you? I think we should just focus on getting the song down. The name will come later. Fine. Here's the song on CD. Learn it and meet us at the wall at four to practice. All right, settled, everyone. Let's continue with our discussion from last class. We talked about sentence and paragraph structures, using short, emphatic sentences, shaping the clauses, holding key thoughts until the very end of your sentence structure. This is going to be very important for all. All we have to do is adjust the dancing, tone it down a bit. Manny can be the hunter. I don't know, Lam. I'm not exactly the best dancer. I think it's a great idea. Really. I can't wait to see it performed. Playing the hunter is one thing, but dancing? You're the only one who's been to every rehearsal. You know the part. Of the hunter! Why can't we just have two hunters and one panther? Just forget it. I'll go to Liberty. We're not going on. Fine, I'll do it. But I'm not wearing a leotard. You don't have to. Toby, thank you. I mean it. Okay, ready? Voila. Wow, that's an incredible look. For you. And you? I don't think so. I look like a sausage. Silly, you look great. We are so going to get a record deal. Especially after you hear my ideas for the song. Have you listened to it yet? Yeah. And? Well, it has promise. But right now, sounds like a bunch of cows dying. <laughs> Paige, what are you wearing? Our new look. You like? I don't. You want us to look like prostitutes? Fine. I'll go get us some nun costumes. Very funny, Paige. <laughs> She's holding us back. I've tried, Paige. <sighs> and failed. Listen, I have some ideas for the song, but Ashley is going to hate them. We need the Mystic Oracles to convince her. After Manny, I'm not messing with the Oracles again. But... But what? What if you and I just tried your ideas, made a new version of the song? Maybe Ash would like it. That's a big maybe. Huge. But, okay. 
and I think I know exactly who can help us. I just have to change. Mr. Simpson, this synthesizer you talked about in class once, didn't you? Right. Well, we weren't really paying attention, but we wish we were. Because we have this song here, and we want to make another version of it. Well, you came to the right place. This setup here is amazing. Wish I had it back when I was in a band. Stop. Rewind. Mr. Simpson, you were in a band? The Zit Remedy. We even had a video. You ever heard of us? Everybody wants something. Then. I'll take that as a no. Um, let me show you how this works. Okay. injuries for today. Okay. Maybe you should try it at home in front of the mirror or something. Sure. Man, how far will you go? JT, shut up. Now. This is perfect, Mr. Simpson. It's so danceable. Y'all ready for this? Wow. <laughs> what is that? We did my song? Ashley, it's just an alternate take. Both versions are still on the computer, so there's no problem. We weren't trying to ruin your song. We were taking it to another level, you know? No, Paige, I don't know. First, the name, then the clothes. Now my music? Forget it. Well, I think we should go with our version, right, Terry? Terry, there's no argument. You know the song was better before. I... I don't know. You should let the Oracle decide. We can all agree on that. After all, Terry is in touch with the other side. Okay, we'll consult the Oracle. Mystic Oracle, which version should we go with? High Priestess. It means... Go with the new. Sorry, Ash. The Oracle has spoken. Someone missed the announcement. We're going on in like five minutes, Ash. I did some internet research on your last reading. The High Priestess means stay with the old. You said go with the new. You lied, Ter. Why? Because you hate all of my suggestions. That is so not true. It is. I don't get a say in anything. It's not fair. Welcome to Lunchtime Cabaret. I expect you will handle yourselves appropriately. So without further ado, please welcome our first act, a dance piece entitled Endangered. Sorry. And this is too easy. 
crazy. in like two seconds. Look, the oracles said go with the old. You guys better watch out. Who knows what might happen if you defy them. Guys, you're on. I don't care what the oracle says. We're using the new version. Fine, then you can use the new group. The one without me. Fine. Tear, come on. Did you settle on a name, finally? Just call us Paige and Terry. Was it? No. My panther dancing days are over. Unless a certain someone asks you again, right? <sighs> Toby, you were great out there. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, um, do you want to go and maybe... I'll be right back, okay? Sean, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. The way you just stood up like that, told everyone off, it was so brave. So, you guys were great. Really? I admit it, your version totally rocked, and the audience loved it. I think you should join the group again. Okay, but first things first, what about a name? Well, there's always Paige Michael Check and the Sex Kittens. No. Hello, let me finish. I'm talking about the initials. P M S. P M S? What? It's edgy. It's cool. <laughs> and gross. Why don't we just stick with three girls and a keyboard? No way. Tear, it's one to one. Your vote breaks the tie. You should consult the Oracle. And um, the Oracle and I are no longer on speaking terms. But I sort of like PMS. Fine. Then we are P.M.S. <laughs> this media immersion test is gonna kill me. So dead they'll have to check my dental records, my DNA. Will you stop being so melodramatic for once? Please. I am not melodramatic. JT, try studying. It helps. Emma, you said you'd help me study for the test, right? Sure, I'd love to. Are you worried about media immersion? Big time. Oh, Mr. Simpson, 20th century media history is a major component of this test. Do we need to know anything before that, like the Gutenberg Press? No, Liberty, just what we study. Because I, I know the Gutenberg Press. 
I'm sure you do. I should. Uh... No, uh, now Matt's not my strong suit. But if I want an A plus in media immersion, I'll have to score about 92.48% on this test. Does that calculation sound right to you? Did you guys hear Mr. Radish call me? Yeah, I, I think I heard him call me. Hey, Sean, gonna miss that locker, eh? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just you'll be moving to grade eight next year. Finally. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Paige, check this out. Spinner, we're gonna be late and Radich is going to expel you. So, anything to get me out of that English test? I thought you read all the books. Yeah, once. And now I'm supposed to review them for the test? Forget it. I've done enough for it. Oh, hurry up. You know what a fascist Radich is. Paige, Gavin, you're late. I see some things haven't changed. And I know that I speak for all of Degrassi when I say, welcome back, Miss Kwan. We missed you. Thank you, Mr. Radich. Okay, then. Where to start? Yes, Terry? Um, I know it's none of my business, but... Is everything all right? Yes. My husband's finished all his chemo and getting better each day. Now, how have your tests been? <sighs> and look on the bright side. I mean, there's only one test left. Mine. What's wrong, Oscar? I'm not feeling very well, Miss Kwan. Can I uh, be excused? Hmm? I hope Oscar's not coming down with this flu. These bugs seem to flourish in times of stress. Okay. Let's start our review. So I'll just grab my book. Why don't we just study here instead? Uh, tracker fixes motorcycles. It'll be noisy. Okay, whatever. Um, would you mind if you waited outside? My place isn't like yours. It's a dump. Okay, sure. I'll wait right here. Hey. So what are you doing here? New report for your school newspaper? Life on the other side of the tracks? No, I'm waiting for Sean. We're studying together tonight. Oh, yeah? What do you think? You're gonna be a good influence on him or something? Because you are. He, uh, hasn't gotten into trouble this year. That's good. So thanks. Trouble? What do you mean? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It's, uh, in the past. It's a different kind of kid now. just talking about nothing. So you guys are gonna go study together? Yeah. Fun in. Okay, repeat after me. Shoot back. Shoot back. Is that on the test? No, I made it up. The consonants stand for the HTML tags used in a web page. S is for starting, H for head, T for title, B for body, and C for closing. I had a vowel to make it easy to remember. Shoot back. You are such a liberty. I am not. It's called mnemonics. All right, liberty. Whatever, liberty. You want to mess with me? I'll mess you up. I'm big trouble. <laughs> yeah, I heard. You heard what? Just Tracker said you got into trouble once. He didn't give me the details. Okay. Back in Wasega Beach, I got into a fight with this guy. Messed up his hearing pretty bad. You made him deaf? Yeah. Yeah, in one ear. Permanently? Yeah. 
I'm not proud of what I did, you know? Sometimes I just get really, really mad and... But I'm working on it, okay? And it was a year ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. What's that smell? Oh, no, the popcorn! How about we have corn nuts instead? So, are you nervous? Yeah. Okay, guys, as you all know, your media immersion test will be written online, which is very cool. So, you're all on the media immersion test page? Okay. Click on the link which says unit review test, and when it prompts you, enter the password broomhead, all lowercase. 45 minutes, the test automatically ends when time's up. Good luck. You. I don't want to hear your stupid ideas. And getting sick on purpose qualifies. Paige, you sure you're not psychic? Because you just read my mind. <coughs> Bless you. I'll be right back. Uh, not a good idea, Spinner. I think I have it on. What kind of friend would I be if I let a silly little flu virus come between us? Sorry I'm late, guys. I just finished marking your tests. And overall, I was pleased. However, some scores were disappointing. 51%? Yes. Now I just got to get out of English, and high school, here I come. Uh, Terry, you know you're not allowed to bring beverages into class, right? Sorry, Mr. Armstrong, I was just about to throw it out. Uh-uh. I'll do that for you. And the spinner, when you're done, take your seat. Okay, and the rest of the results. Ashley, excellent work, 91%. not done. 45 minutes, remember? But I'm not finished. Time's up. You're locked out. See, Sean, it wasn't so hard. What are you talking about? I didn't even have time to finish. I failed. Oh. Who was right? I'm screwed. Sean, you don't know that. No, Emma. You don't know. Anything I've ever tried at, I have failed. Sean, come on. You know what, Emma? Just... Just don't talk to me, okay? Just leave me alone. Oh, what's wrong? Forgot your combo? You should have spinner for one of his Riddler. Really helps sharpen the memory. Is that a joke? Yeah, relax. Don't push me, okay? Dude, what's your problem? What's my problem? Yeah, do you understand English? So you think I'm stupid? No. I think you're a freak. Hey! Hey, guys! Guys, what's going on here? Nothing, we're just playing around. We'll tone it down, all right? See you after school. Miss Kwan, 
I don't feel so good. Gavin, you're burning up. You better go see the nurse. Jimmy, you can't fight Sean. The cycle told him he started it the minute he got back to Degrassi. Guess what? I'm gonna end it. I heard he got sent back from Wasega because he got in a fight with a kid and deafened him in one ear. So, is it true? Are you really gonna fight Sean? Liberty Vincent? Here. James Tiberius York. It's JT. <laughs> and I'm still here despite how hard that media immersion test was. Thank you, JT. Too much information. And that just leaves Sean. Sean, you're late. Yeah, like it's the end of the world. No, but it is the end of your lunch hour, which you'll now be spending with me. Great. Ninety-eight point six, normal body temperature. What? But I'm burning up. Well, you're a little warm. Of course, you could have been running around. Nurse Henderson, I'm appalled you would even suggest such a thing. Maybe that space-age thermometer is, like, not working right. Well, there's one tried-and-true method. Foolproof. Um, what are you doing? I don't want that gunk in my mouth. Not going in your mouth. You know what? I'm feeling a lot better. All of a sudden. Really? No note from Mr. Henderson? Gavin, we both know what you tried to pull just now. Miss Kwan, I And I'm going to keep this between us. Part of a fresh start. In exchange, you'll hear me out. You're not a dumb kid, but the stuff you pull around here is. If you just channel all that energy into your schoolwork, you could be a good student. But, Miss Kwan, these tests, they freak me out. It, it must be my ADD. Have you taken your Ritalin? Of course. Then it's not your ADD. Gavin, I'll tell you what to do. You stop avoiding. You breathe, you focus, and you take this test one question at a time. Class, you have 45 minutes. And go. I should have your test back to you guys by tomorrow. Okay, off to lunch. Except Sean. What's going on? I'm just being myself. A failure. Sean, you are not a failure. Oh, no? I totally screwed up that test. But how do you know? I haven't even marked it yet. Don't bother. I failed. It's my life. What do you mean? That's your life. It's just the way it is. Well, I guess if you believe that, then that's the way it's going to be. Oh, yeah! Who's the king of the world? Yes, I passed the test. I assume it went well, Gavin? I had no idea I knew as much as I did. So you see what good things happen when you focus. I owe it all to you, Miss Kwan. Hey, where are you two going? Sean Cameron wants to fight Jimmy. It's not gonna happen. Dude, you're walking away from... Jimmy, let's go. Look, man, we don't have to do this. It's stupid. Psst. Man. No wonder Armstrong cut you from the team. You only cut me because you got in my way and faked an injury. Yeah, whatever. You want to fight? Then let's fight. I'll meet you in the alleyway. Jimmy, if you do this, don't expect me to watch. Fine. It's going to be ugly. Sean, 
on, stop it. Get out of here, Emma. Emma, just go. What if Radish finds out? We're off school property. Please, before it gets too serious. What are you gonna cry now, Jimmy, huh? Coward walks away after picking the fight and throwing his own girlfriend to the ground. Sean did that to Emma? Uh-huh. Total coward. Yeah, and you're so brave for getting in a fight. Ash, come on. Hey, how was Quan's test? Oh, brutal. You're lucky you missed it. You missed it. I had to do it today after school. A makeup one. Probably harder. Ah, uh, really? Poor Tear. Gee, thanks for the sympathy. Today's just too beautiful. Got my worst subject out of the way. It's the weekend. My dad scored these amazing j- Uh, that's exactly how my flu started. It's not some dusters. Ah, uh, poor Spinner. Maybe we'll see you on Monday, when you're not so contagious. Guys, come on, I'm fun. <laughs> Sean. Some good news. I finished marking and you did well. What? It was your best mark yet. Pulled your grade up to a B minus. But I didn't finish. So? You aced the rest. It's a good job. You should be proud of yourself. You learn from this, okay? Emma, Emma, please stop. Emma, yesterday was wrong, okay? I just got my mark back from Mr. Simpson. I passed after all. I should have listened to you, and I'm sorry. 